everybody. You're a deal hunter. You're a deal hunter. Hunting all the time. Who's gotten something good this Cyber Monday? Tell me about what you've bought. So far, for me, I've been working. I haven't really had a chance to look around. I did get a book that I'm sending to, to, to our household by Charles Phoenix, who does a lot of really cool kitsch stuff. And it's, it's a throwback holiday book. It has some recipes in it. I'm very excited about that. But I want to know what you're buying. Where are you shopping right now? Somebody got a mattress. Humanity Survey got a mattress. Very cool. Cool Chica got some flip-flops and boots. Like to hear about that. Riley Powell wants some Hot Wheel cars. Yes, of course you do. Somebody got a gift for their brother. I don't even want to say it. What if your brother's playing? Well, you know, then he might see it. Camera for your brother. That is very, very cool. Now, I hope all of you who are out there shopping or doing it through swipe bucks and earning a ton of SB for it because that is the way to go. If you haven't done all your shopping, you got to keep trying. Somebody, speaking of trying, Brody P is out there trying for that PS5. Oh, man. Best of luck to you. I was able to get mine through pre-order. Then I was very fortunate. So I have it. It's great. And I, I have faith that all the people I know who are trying to get it will be able to do so. So, folks, hang in there. Whatever it is you're trying to get, hang in there. It will happen. Folks, we're just about ready to get going. We are just about ready. I'm so excited. This is a big money game. I see how many of you are here, almost 30,000 of you, because this is a $7,500 game brought to you by our friends at Skills. I'm going to mention that a few more times just because it makes me so happy. Happy Cyber Monday, everyone. Thanks for taking a few minutes off from deal hunting to play this big money edition of Swag Bucks Live. That's the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm Hal, your trivia cruise director, and I invite you to join me on the Lido deck for a round of questions, answers, and this humongous grand prize. Yes, that's $7,500, courtesy of our friends at Skills. And when you correctly answer all 10 of my multiple choice general trivia questions, you will win your share of it. Now, in this game, you will also earn one bonus SB for every question you get right after question number one, even if you've already been eliminated. If you don't stick around until after the game to claim them, though, you won't get to keep them. But those of you who win the game will get your bonuses automatically. Folks, let's toss the comments overboard and set sail for your warm-up. Folks, here is question number one. Pajamas are clothes typically worn for what? Are they worn for sleeping, air travel, or deep sea diving? Why do you wear your PJs? Whether you wear a two-piece, footies, or a long dressing gown with a floppy hat and you hold a candle up, you're wearing those PJs for one thing and one thing only, and that is sleeping, folks. They are sleeping attire. 99% of you getting that one right, and that is almost 33,000 people. That is what I like to see. And folks, remember, if you're new here and you haven't played before and you get eliminated, don't leave. There are SB you can earn from every single question here on in, and you have to claim it at the end. I'm saying that because we have maybe a couple of latecomers in here, but I already see everybody who got out and then some were able to rejoin back in it to win it. Folks, we have 34,500 plus. It's about to be 34,600 of you who are playing right now. Most of you are in grand prize, prize, prize contention, but the rest of you should stick around because I have bonus SB for you. In fact, you can earn one bonus SB, as long as you can hear my voice right now, for correctly answering question number two. Here it is. What food product is YoPlay known for? Are they known for ground sausage, yogurt, or beans? What food product is YoPlay known for? Dannon puts the fruit at the bottom and makes you mix it up yourself. But YoPlay comes to you pre-mixed with a perfect balance of tangy and sweet in each bite. 
of their yogurt. Yogurt is the answer, of course. 99% of you getting that one right. That's almost everybody playing along. Still over 33,000 people in the hunt for a piece of the grand prize. That is what I like to see. I don't mind mixing up the fruit, though. I like it. There's a little bit more fruitiness when you get those bites. But as a kid, I did not want to do the work. Let's move on to question number three. Worth one bonus SB to everyone who still has the app open and can see what we're doing right now. Here it is. Which of the following is a travel booking website? Is it Priceline, Hot or Not, or IMDb? Which one of these would you use to rent a car or get a plane ticket, something like that? The ads for this discount travel site originally featured a tough negotiator played by William Shatner. Now Kelly Cuoco plays the daughter of the Priceline negotiator. Priceline is the answer. 98% of you getting that one right. Well done. Still over 32,000 people in the hunt for a piece of this $7,500 grand prize brought to you by our friends at Skills. We're going to be talking more about Skills a little bit later in the game, but boy, this is exciting. Let's move on to question number four, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Which U.S. president was assassinated in 1963? Is it Abraham Lincoln, James Garfield, or John F. Kennedy? Which U.S. president was assassinated in 1963? While appearing in a motorcade in Dallas, Texas, almost 50 years ago, tragedy struck when gunman Lee Harvey Oswald took the life of John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy is the president I was talking about. 96% of you getting that one right. 3% going for Abraham Lincoln. That happened almost a century earlier in the, it was the 1860s that he, was, that he was assassinated. And James Garfield uh, was, I believe, the 1880s. Is that right? Yes, because McKinley was 1901. Anyway, folks, still only 4% of you got out. Almost all those people came right back in using a free rejoin, just like you know that you should. We still have over 32,600 of you in it to win it. Let's move on. We've got a bonus SB for anyone who gets this next question right, whether you're in it for the grand prize or not. Here is question number five. Arrivederci and ciao are ways of saying goodbye in what language? Is it Japanese, Welsh, or Italian? What language did I speak in just now? Often these are accompanied by a quick kiss on each cheek, and then maybe the person gets on their tiny scooter and motors away, because that's just how they do it in Italy. Italian, of course, is the answer. 97% of you getting that one right. Arrivederci. Ciao. Ciao bella, as they would say in Italy. I, you know, I've been to Italy. I had never heard anybody say that. Doesn't mean they don't do it. I just, I never saw it personally. So maybe the movies are, are trumping it up a little bit. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, we are ready to move on to question number six. Worth one bonus SB to anyone who gets it right. Here is your question. Which of the following is not the name of a Transformer? Is it Bumblebee, Optimus Prime, or Steve? Which of those is not the name of a Transformer? Do you know these robots in disguise? The war over Cybertron spilled over into our world when the Autobots and Decepticons came to Earth. And shockingly, not one of those Transformers is named Steve. Steve's not a name that they had on Cybertron. 94% of you getting that one right. Of course, Optimus Prime, the leader of the Autobots, who transforms back and forth from a robot into a truck. And then Bumblebee, he got his own spinoff movie after the, what, four four Transformers movies they made? He, he was a... Uh, he was a Mustang, I think, in the film, but then when I was a kid, he was, a, he was actually a, a Volkswagen bug. Maybe that's why they called him Bumblebee. Who knows? I, I don't want to put labels on him. Let's move on to question number seven, worth one bonus SB to anyone who gets it right. Here it is. What song was the inspiration for Scooby-Doo's name? Was it Strangers in the Night, Fly Me to the Moon, or The Best is Yet to Come? I love all three of these songs, but only one of them. Helped give Scooby-Doo his name. While trying to come up with a name for their cowardly Great Dane, the creators drew inspiration from the scatting of Frank Sinatra in his recording of Strangers in the Night. That's right. He goes, Scooby-Dooby-Doo, ba-dooby-dooby. And they were like, Scooby-Dooby-Doo? 
That's not only Scooby-Doo's a great name for a dog, but he should say scooby dooby doo 63% of you getting that one right. Well done. That means 37% of you eliminated. But already almost all of those people have rejoined. We still have over 29,000 people in grand prize contention. And that number is only continuing to grow as I continue to buy those people time. But I think right now we are ready to move on to one bonus SB for anybody who can correctly answer question number eight. Here it is. Which of these methods of playing music was recorded? Which of these recorded music formats was introduced most recently? Is it the 8-track, the cassette tape, or the CD? Which one is the most recent of these three recorded music formats? In 1983, a very expensive alternative to cassette tapes was introduced that sounded better and lasted longer. Within 10 years, everyone was buying CDs. That is the answer. The CD is the most recent of those. The 8-track, of course, and the cassette tape came about the same time, 60s, 70s. And then the cassettes ruled for a brief moment in the 80s before the CDs took over. But hey, two-thirds of you getting that one right. Again, of the people getting out, most of them coming right back in. We still have over 25,000 people who want a piece of that $7,500 grand prize. Only two questions left to go, people. We are getting down to it. And what I really like seeing is that of the people who have been eliminated, they're sticking around because they know that they can earn bonus SB. There's still two more bonus SB to earn. And, of course, they have to claim it after the game is over. That's what it's about, folks. Smarts. That is strategy, my friends. Let's move on to question number nine. It is worth one bonus SB to everyone still playing along. Here it is. What is the name of Lois Griffin's husband on Family Guy? Is his name Stewie, Brian, or Peter? Who is the patriarch of the Griffin family on Family Guy? The bizarre, edgy world of Family Guy is centered around the Griffin family of Rhode Island, led by spouses Lois and Peter Griffin. Peter Griffin is the answer. 23,293 of you have made it this far, and you are ready for our final question. But first, folks, we had so much fun with you here on Cyber Monday, playing for big, big money. Let's get more people in here. I want to see this amount of people here every single day, and the only way that's going to happen is if you tell your friends and family about it. Get even more and more people in here. Post to social media. Send an email. Send a text. But whatever you do, make sure that you first click the Get More Rejoins or Invite button on the main menu of this app. That's going to give you a special link and a special code that is yours and yours alone. For each person who signs up using your link and enters your code, you will earn one free rejoin that you can use in a future game. Now, you obviously love earning money while playing games. Otherwise, why would you even be here? And I got another great opportunity for you. Install one of the following skills games for iOS or Android. We got Blackout Bingo, Solitaire Cube, or 21 Blitz. Then make a deposit and play any paid entry game. Cost us up to a dollar to earn 4,000 SB. That's 40 bucks. This is a money maker, folks. You have to be a U.S. player to take advantage of this offer, but... Remember, without skills, we wouldn't have this $7,500 grand prize. So we want to, of course, thank them for that. Go download a game, deposit a little bit of money, and get a ton in SB to help you out with your holiday shopping. It's a no-brainer, folks. Games for money. That's what we're all about here. Okay, folks. Here is the situation. 24,542 people vying for a piece of our $7,500 grand prize. Thank you, Skills. We have over 34,400 of you total playing the game right now. All of you will earn a bonus SB if you can answer this final multiple choice question. Here it is. Question number 10. On which continent is India located? Is it Europe, Africa, or Asia? Which continent contains India? This continent is gigantic, and so is the population of India, with over 1.3 billion people, almost 18% of the world's population. And of course, it's located in Asia, folks. Asia is the answer. 22,628 of you knew that answer, and you are splitting our grand prize, each of you getting 34 SB in grand prize money, plus the bonuses you earned along the way. Mini Cooper 718, you're a big time winner. Congratulations. T God, oh my God, you are a winner today. Congratulations to you. And Chad, Chad, you're a winner as well. 
I like that your name's just Chad. Just there's no ceremony. We don't stand on ceremony, Swag Bucks Live. We give out prizes, and you have all won it. Congratulations to all of you. Congratulations to everyone who earned bonus SB and were smart enough to stick around and claim them. And that was a ton of you. Now that you have all these SB folks, you know what to do with them. Especially during the holiday season, you redeem them for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places to help you during the holidays. Thank you for playing along with us today, everyone. Come back tomorrow for another helping of trivia. This is Swagbucks Live. I hope you have a great evening and go check out skills, my friends. Earn $40 in SB for that. All right. Bye.